Hello everyone, this is Levi Sheridan and today I'm making a video about the first physical prototype of my casted two-stroke engine. This prototype was printed in PLA on my Prusa Mini 3D printer. I made this prototype to see how the third-party hardware like the screws, wear ring, and bearings fit into my own design. I also made it to see if there would be any fit issues, if there would be any sealing issues, and I did find a few issues with the design, which I will talk about. Uh, but I'm just going to take apart the engine so you can see how it's assembled. I'll talk a little bit about some of those issues that I mentioned and how I intend to fix them as well as the next steps. But like I said, I am going to take this apart and uh, show you all what's inside. So the first part I will be taking off is the cylinder. The cylinder is held on with six screws. Uh, onto the crankcase. And these six screws also help seal the crankcase, which is uh, pretty nice. These screws are 164 1 8 screws. They're very small. Um, however, they seem to work very well. I used the tap to, uh, I got a tap and I used the tap to tap out the plastic parts, which I will also do with the final aluminum parts. Uh, but even the plastic taps, they hold on to the screws well, and uh, everything is, is pretty solid because of that. This is the last screw. I will uh, I'll take it off, and I'll be able to slide off the cylinder, which will show us the piston inside. I'll just show the, the cylinder quickly. So the fins printed really well. The overhang of the fins in the exhaust port area didn't print too well, so maybe I'll think about how to uh, solve that. But on my resin printer, I think it, it would print fine, so we'll see. That is the next step to print all these parts after I've gone through and made some of the fixes on the resin printer. Uh, but in general, the cylinder printed really well. Uh, the ports printed well. Everything's really solid and it fits well. The six holes uh, printed well. These are through holes. These are tapped on the other side. But like I said, the piston printed really well, and I don't think there's any issues with it in terms of assembly or fit. Moving on, we can see the piston here, uh, as well as the carburetor body. I'll take off the carburetor body now so I can talk about that a little bit. It's held on uh, with these two screws on either side, and that also serves the function of holding the crankcase together, which is beneficial, same, uh, same as the six screws on the cylinder. So once I get those two screws off, we can see here the carburetor body. The, there would be a thin film of rubber material uh, covering this opening with a screw through the center and that acts as a one-way valve. So when there's an increase of pressure on this side of that film, decrease of pressure on this side, the film will lift up, allowing air to flow through. And if there's an increase of pressure on this side of the film and a decrease on this side, uh, the film will close and not let anything through. This is the fuel intake that printed well. It goes up, makes a 90 deg degree turn into, uh, I don't know if you can see that, the, the little outlet inside of the air intake. And then this screw here, I'll take it out, but this is the fuel adjustment needle. It, uh, it's basically the same screw, a 164th uh, screw as the other screws, it's just a little longer. Um, and I also, I used my drill, I threw it in my drill, my makeshift lathe, and I took a file to it. And um, I, I made a point, uh, so that goes, and it basically acts as a, a little needle to kind of vary the amount of flow of fuel. And then obviously I need to be able to control the flow of air, uh, which would be the role of this handle, but unfortunately the handle, the design wasn't great, so it, it doesn't really work. Uh, so that's something I need to redesign. Uh, but I'm going to take apart the carburetor so I can show how the air, the airflow is restricted or uh, or allowed to flow more, more so or less, uh, depending on your your mixture or the mixture that I'll need to get this engine running. So this is just the cap, and it holds in this throttle body here. You can see uh, a little bit more clearly how that stem comes out, uh, makes the 90 degree turn from the fuel inlet, and then there's a hole in the bottom of this body, but this body fits into the cylinder like so, and basically rotates like this to either let more or less air. So in this case, it would be letting pretty much no air in versus this, which is full open. 
and you just twist the knob. This was a really tight fit uh, when I first designed it and printed it, so I threw it on my drill as well, and I used a file to, to make it a nicer fit. So that's something I'll have to go through in the design and fine tune, but everything else printed really well, like the fuel uh, inlet printed well. I like the cap, the cap was a nice touch, it fits well as well. Uh, the cap is something I need to fix, but in general it integrates well with the crankcase, and I think it may have a sealing issue, but that's something I'll have to see with how it prints in resin. Uh, so moving on from the carburetor body, I'm just gonna put the handle back on so I don't lose it. Back with the crankcase, uh, we have the piston sticking out and now we have these four screws holding the two halves of the crankcase together. So I will take apart that just by removing the four screws. This is uh, same screws as everything else so far, apart from the, the jet for the fuel inlet. That is the only screw that is not the same in this entire engine. So this is the last screw, and once I take this off, I should be able to separate the two halves pretty easily. It sometimes helps just to push on this little output shaft here. Uh, and there we go, there we have separated the two halves. So now that we're inside of the engine, uh, we can see the piston and the crankshaft assembly. Uh, this is one of the bearings, there's two of them, one on either side of the crankcase. They are sealed bearings. They are made in Japan by a company called Koyo. They came in this box, it was very nice. Um, very nice presentation. Those are the bearings. I really like them, they're very nice, and I think they'll work well. Uh, but like I said, this is the current case. So in terms of the design of this, I don't think there are many issues. I was worried about these through holes not being th long enough to get a solid tap on, but it does seem like there's enough surface area in there that enough teeth can be formed to have the screws grab on nicely onto those holes on either side. Uh, the bearings fit nicely. These holes printed nicely. In general, either crankcase half is, is pretty well designed. There was an issue with the crankcase, but it was more so of a fit issue with the crankshaft. Basically, the distance between the two bearing faces is a little too tight. There's not enough tolerances, so the crankcase doesn't close perfectly when I put the two halves together like so. Like right now, you can see it's pretty well sealed. There's The two surfaces are touching pretty well all the way around. But when I assemble it with this, the distance between these two surfaces is a little too great and the, the case doesn't close entirely. So that's something I'll need to, uh, to go fix in the next design before I print it in resin. Uh, but this is the piston crank assembly. Uh, so there's two stainless steel shafts. This is the wrist pin. Uh, I forgot, I think that's called the journal bearing. Uh, and then obviously the counterweight and the connecting rod and the piston. I'm not putting the wear, uh, wear ring on right now because the plastic scratches it. Uh, but this works really well. I'm really happy with this. It runs really smoothly because inside of the connecting rod, I've actually included two oil lubricated oil embedded uh, bearings. I think they're brass or bronze or something, but there's two of them on either end of the connecting rod I'll show you. So I'll take the connecting rod apart. It's just assembled in these two halves. If you saw the last video, you would know that. Uh, but once I take that one half off, we can see how the, the stainless steel pin stays on that side. And we can just set it there. And then on the big end of the connecting rod, you can see the bearing, how it's embedded in there. And that works really well. I think this will be a great solution to the issue of having an aluminum connecting rod and an aluminum uh, journal bearing and an aluminum wrist pin. That would not have gone well. I don't think the engine would have run. So having this lubricated bearing, the stainless steel wrist pin and the journal bearing, I think that will be really great. I'll take off the wrist pin uh, if I can. This is, I don't know if I'll be able to get it off. It's a little bit of a tight fit, which is good. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get it off, but it's a tight fit. This is the this is the bearing on the other side, uh, but it, it has a really good motion. It's very solid. Uh, it doesn't have much play uh, off the plane of rotation. This one is very similar. It fits very well, and it has a very nice smooth movement, and I think that as a solution to uh, any kind of induced friction from aluminum on aluminum surfaces will, will be really great. So. In general, I'm really happy with how this printed. There's a few things that I mentioned I have to fix. I have to fix the distance between the two bearing faces. I have enough room on either side of the case. I can just move either bearing apart very slightly to accommodate for this, but I'm gonna print everything in resin. I'll have to include some tolerances in this. 
but the tolerances for printing and resin in the variations of what you actually get from your design versus what you get from the printer, they're different from an FDM printer to a resin printer. So while I'll be able to make some adjustments uh, from the information I've picked up from printing in this, when I print it in resin, I'll, I'll also have probably find some new stuff that I'll need to adjust and modify. And then also similarly, when I cast it, it probably won't work the first time I'll have to pick up on a few of the manufacturing quirks that, that are induced into the parts just from from the way they're made and I'll have to design and uh, accommodate and, and try to work around those things. But like I said, in general, I'm really happy with how this printed. Uh, everything fits really well. The bearings work well together. The whole idea of everything is really great. And I think once I make those few modifications, I'll print it in resin very soon. And we'll I'll have a little bit of a better idea of exactly um, what things will look like. I'm gonna redesign the connecting rod as well make it a little bit more uh, lightweight and have a few more design features on there to help the engine run smoothly. But this is pretty much what the design's gonna look like because it, it does look like it's working well. I won't have to change anything drastically. Uh, this is Levi Sheridan. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.